My Gay Point of View, Episode 1, Shantae Wayans. So I identify as a lesbian. Some will call it like an aggressive lesbian, which I don't really like to, to say that. You know, I am the more masculine one in the relationship, but I don't really like saying aggressive because I feel like it's aggressive. Like, like we just be sitting there eating pussy like, ah, 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 and then you got the other spectrums. But yeah, lesbian steed, if you will. I identify as a big old faggot homosexual. I'm just playing. <laughs> I am definitely, I'm a gay man. I don't like labels, but that's what it is. I, I think men are beautiful. Mm, a lesbian for the ladies, the girls, the fish. There are so many different types of lesbians, but I'm old school, so it's just like two types for me. It's like the butch and the femme or the lipstick lesbian. I don't know if that's inappropriate now because everything is inappropriate, but I consider myself a femme lesbian. I think straight people would still call me a butch, but... My name is Nikki Paris, and I identify as a bitch. No, I, I identify as a man, he, him, or if I'm hungover, it. People ask my pronouns, which I think is wonderful and it's very inclusive, but also offensive, because I think that I look like a man who's been through the mill. I don't really go after a heterosexual woman. Uh, not to say that I haven't had the opportunities to. I feel like I'd rather get beat up by another stud <laughs> and, not, and not like a man, you know what I mean? I don't want, I don't want to have to worry about that. And, and the funny thing is I did date somebody who was uh, bisexual, if you will. I think she was more straight. She already had two kids. And uh, I remember getting up, we were supposed to go somewhere and the chick was like, hold on, we can't leave. And I was like, what do you mean we can't leave? <laughs> Uh, we had to wait inside of the apartment for about two, three hours till she thought her baby father was gone. Uh, we go outside and he's still out there. Not only is he still out here, out there, but I didn't even know that he was a gangbanger. So he was, <laughs> he was a part of a gang and I came out and he was so handsome. He was like, he was like a Boris Kojo with light eyes. He had, me and him look like brothers and sisters. And I'm like, come on bro, like, let's keep it in the family type thing. But he literally was trying to fight me. He told me if I ever see you again, I'll kill you. And I said, yeah, I don't think I like vagina that much. I'll go find somebody that's just strictly clean. I like to flirt with heterosexual straight women, but those was back in the days, you know, now I'm mature and, and I understand that they have commitment issues on both sides. So no, I don't, I no longer go after heterosexual women. I, I'm not even attracted to, I mean, they fine, they cute, they women, they, they're human, but no, smells like dick. So gaydar is basically when you could, you could just tell. You could see somebody and be like, oh no, he gay. And usually you got people that's like, he not gay. You be like, he is gay. <laughs> My gaydar is top of the line. I am a firm believer that family knows family. It is an energy. It is a set of behaviors. Uh, I, I know gay when I see gay. I always have. My gaydar is impeccable. Um, specifically, I'm always able to tell like in the youth or in someone that I'm just around often or seeing grow, grow up. I'm like, I have cousins or, or nieces or nephews. And I say that loosely. It could be my friend's kids and so on and so forth. And I'm always like, girl, he is <laughs> sugary. I actually have impeccable gaydar. And that is because I am a member of GLAD. No, I know how to tell when somebody's gay. My my girlfriend one time, Angelina, she was hooking up with this guy. And I said, Angelina, he is so gay. He makes me look straight. She goes, he's not gay. How could you tell? I said, watch this. We're all sitting in a circle. I go, oh my God, Cher died. Everybody just goes, oh, wow, crazy. Two minutes later, nobody brings it up. He goes, I'm Googling it. Nothing's coming up. I said, there's your answer. And you can interchange that with Dolly Parton, Beyonce, Kelly Rowland, if you support independent artists, anybody. 
who's a gay icon. And it tells all. That's all I'm saying. But I could always tell if you show your ankles and you have no socks on, you've been to a glory hole. I ain't gonna lie, my gaydar is is pretty bad. You know, for, for the ladies out there, I all right, I think every chick that smile at me want me. And she could just be like, how can I help you today? You know, be at the store or something like that. And I'm like, woman, you smiling too hard at me, you better get away. I'll give you all all these breasts. <laughs> Kind of like a dude I dated um, back in high school when everybody would tell me he was gay and I was like, no, he's not. And he would laugh. He would be like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> he laughed like he was trying to absorb everything that resembled a penis. And I just, I loved him so much because he didn't try to have sex with me. He cooked, he listened to all my problems. And yeah, now that I think about it, I should have known he was gay. How do I hit on somebody if I don't know they're gay? Offer to pay one of their bills. That'll get them every time. Oh, he's nice. <laughs> yes, I am. How you doing, Big Daddy? <laughs> Ain't nobody going to turn that down in this economy. I need to keep him around. Yes, you do. <laughs> I'll pop a titty out, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> I'll just pop a titty and see what happens. What I used to do was I used to um, befriend them, right? I befriend somebody and I've have I've done this with straight women and you know, lesbians in, in a sense. Uh, but I usually have them come and I'll, I'll listen to all their stuff and they, you know, crying. And, you know, I, I basically like, they show it to my crib. I'm like, man, I can't believe he dished you on a date. And then they come and I start setting up like the stuff that the dude should have did. You know, I got the rose petals around and she's telling me like, men ain't anything. I don't know why I can't find the right man. I'm like, I know girl, here goes some more wine. Go on and put that up, <laughs> up in you. So by the time, by the time they feel nice, they like, dang, I wish a man would do this for me. And they start crying on the shoulder and you're like, it's okay. It's oh. I would never hit on someone if I don't know they're gay. I will flirt with you all the time, but to give you like enough to make you think that I want something going on between us, I would never do that. I don't like rejection or embarrassment, and I don't want to out someone if they're not gay and put them on a the spot, because this is a lot, <laughs> you know? This is a lot of temptation, so I would never do that. That's just not in my character. No, thank you. For many years, I went after heterosexual men, and uh, I had to stop because they're not committed. I have so many, I had a, a friend whose dad always would text me, can I take you out for a snack? I said, I'm not good enough for a full meal. You're gonna take me out for macaroni salad and then kick me to the curb? Okay, if you have a secret, I think I'm worthy of at least beef wellington. No, I've been with so, I, I don't wanna start crying. I don't wanna do it here, but I will. I was actually seeing a straight guy for years and recently he broke up with me to tell me that he is going back to women. So that's what it's like to be me. These men will be like, I think I'm gay. And then they fuck me and they're like, never mind. And that that's a little snap. I really don't want to get emotional here. I, I didn't take a mite all with me today, so I'm not prepared. But yeah. No, I've been with many, many straight men. They bruised me internally and emotionally. I've actually turned somebody out and then turned them back in. Like <laughs> <laughs> they were like, <laughs> I wasn't ready. I still had a lot of trauma and I think it's very hard to be full of emotions in a hoodie. They like open the closet up, they're like, hmm? They're like, oh no, I, you got too much baggage. I'ma just go back in. <laughs> Have I ever turned, no, I've never turned anybody out. They can turn me out though. <laughs> <laughs> I have turned some people out, Shantae. In fact, I'm what they call a young whore. When I was in eighth grade, uh, I was in a love triangle with my best friend's boyfriend. Um, but she had braces, so I don't think it was very serious between them. I just remember riding around in his BMW, in the back seat, of course, and those were some of the most magical moments of my life. No, I really have been with a lot of straight men. For some reason, gay men don't really find me attractive. 
I don't know why, it's only the straight guys because they could tell that I, I could keep a secret. Like Abby, remember people would write to her at the advice column, Dear Abby, my husband got his asshole waxed. Do you think he's gay? Me and Abby are the only people that are keeping those secrets and I didn't ask for this. I don't, I don't know if this person is fully gay now, but I will say, check the search history. I think that that tells all. If you're Googling Ryan Reynolds in a bathing suit, I don't think you're looking to buy the bathing suit. I think you're buying lube, and one of your arms is more toned than the other. And I think you know what that means. Okay, um, have I ever turned someone out? I thought I did, and um, I thought I was doing what I thought I was doing. And she was just like, girl, this ain't it. And she went back to do. There was that one hit of quit up for me, and I was just like, okay, you know, better luck next time. She's still trying to get it though, now, you know. Bye, girl.